Hola, welcome to Cash and Spanglish. This is Sai from very sunny Puerto Rico. How are you doing? I hope you're having a great day. So today I am doing my 365 days of gratitude challenge. So with this challenge, even though it is a savings challenge, it is also a way to feel gratitude every single day because we always have a reason or many reasons to be thankful. Before I get started, I want to show you my friend here. Um, it At some point, it had eyes and a smile, but I've just been playing with it so much that <laughs> they're gone already. But this is a squishy sand squishy i got it at walgreens and i feel like it was 3.99 and i am loving this thing so much does anyone else enjoy squishies um i never knew i did until i was looking for something for my granddaughter and then i touched this and i was just like i have to get this for myself she chose something else but then i got this for myself and i just feel like it's very stress relieving um and i enjoy it so much and i feel like for the price it was a good deal so moving on from that my 365 days of gratitude will start on march 31st so on that day as you can see i've already filled these in just to make it a little bit faster so March 31st, my gratitude was for being able to spend time with the girls at church. So on this Friday, I was teaching Bible school and only the girls showed up. So the boys were absent on this day. It just turns out that they were. I don't think that they all agreed that they all agreed to be absent, but it was so much fun. I had such a good time um, and all the girls we spoke, we chatted. Of, of course, I did the Bible class, but we just had a great time. And when I say girls, I mean literally girls, but they're the cutest. So let me turn the page because that was the last day of March. So on April 1st, that was on Saturday, we had the Women's Ministry Convention and I enjoyed it so much. It was amazing spending time with women from all over and it was just, it was so uplifting. And these things, I enjoy them so much, just like getting to know other women that love the Lord and spending time with them and learning about them. It's just, I love it so much. I enjoyed it so much. And also on this day, it was my brother's birthday. Um, he's my little brother and I love him so much. He is an amazing human being, an amazing brother. And so on this day, I had two things to be grateful for, which is amazing. So on Sunday, April 2nd, my gratitude was for not having to cook. So I never cook on Sundays. Um, we usually have lunch at my in-laws house and that is family tr tradition for them. So after church, we go to my in-laws, we have lunch, we spend some time there with them and then we head home. We usually take a nap and then in the evening we head out and get dinner or supper um, we might just get a sandwich or we might get um, sushi or maybe pizza on this Sunday I was just so happy that I didn't have to cook like it's just one of those days that you're like nah I don't want to cook today um, so if it had not been a Sunday I would not have cooked anyway but I was just grateful that day for not having to cook so moving on to April 3rd, that was on Monday. And on this day, I had a meeting with fellow leaders for the for our district um, regarding our church. And it was such a fruitful and great meeting. And we got to talk about things like Mother's Day and Father's Day celebrations for our church. And even we even talked about our Christmas celebrations. So on this day, we were just planning how we're going to enjoy these holidays um, with all our church families. And it was amazing. It was a great meeting. We had a good time. We had food together and I just enjoyed it so much. So that was on Monday. On Tuesday, 
um, my gratitude was for having a husband that also loves the Lord. So my husband is an amazing husband, as I've said here before, but also he loves the Lord with his entire heart. And I love that about him. So on this day, I got to hear my husband preach, which of course I've done before, but it's special every single time. I love seeing him preach about the Lord with so much passion and so much love and so that was what my gratitude was for on the fourth on the fifth which was yesterday my gratitude was for great weather it wasn't hot it wasn't cold it was just like perfect perfect wonderful weather and it was a little windy but and then that makes the day be nice and cool and it was just it was a wonderful day matter of fact the day was so wonderful that my neighbor's cat was on the roof, just enjoying, I don't know how the cat climbed up there. I'll show you a picture because of course I took a picture of it because I thought it was so funny. And he's okay, he got down safely, everything is okay. But he was just sitting there enjoying the wind, enjoying the day, and it just made me smile. And finally, today, Thursday, April 6th, my gratitude is for the fact that we can choose what to eat. Now, this might seem a bit, I don't know, weird um, of a thing to be grateful for. But when I think of people that don't have a choice as to what they get to eat because they have to eat whatever they can find um, or whatever someone can give them, that makes me sad, but then it also makes me grateful that we have the privilege, even when we don't have a lot of money, we can still choose. We can still go to the fridge and choose whether we want to have fish or meat or chicken um, or vegetables. And I just feel gratitude for that. I feel like it is something that we take for granted. And so that is something that I want to be grateful for um, and that I never, ever, ever want to take for granted. So this is a gratitude challenge, but then it's also a savings challenge, as you know. So I have to add $14 and that is $2 per day. I already have it here set aside. 10 11 12 13 14 dollars to my 365 days of gratitude envelope, which is right here and should we count this money soon i feel like we should maybe the end of april we'll, we will count this money and take it to the bank and this is it for today's video thank you so much for being here i truly appreciate every single one of you i'm truly thankful for every single one of you your support all the love and the fact that you take time out of your busy day to be here and to watch my video i wish that you always have so many reasons so many reasons to be grateful to be thankful and even if you don't have many i wish that you have at least one if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet i hope you consider doing so also if you enjoyed this video please hit the thumbs up and leave me a comment below so i can know that you were here once again Thank you, and I hope you have the most amazing and blessed day. Bye-bye.